Politics now and the story that says so much about the state of American political discourse at this moment. We're looking at new fallout this morning over the White House staffer who made a disparaging, dismissive comment about Senator John McCain and his ongoing battle with brain cancer. And McCain's daughter, Megan, weighing in on the issue right here on ABC. As for the White House, they're refusing to apologize or even confirm whether these comments were even made. ABC's White House correspondent, Tara Palmieri, is at the White House with the story this morning. And Tara, there's outrage on both sides of the aisle. That's right, Paula and Dan. Many Democrats and Republicans are calling for a public apology from the White House and the staffer. But a senior White House official tells me that they're fine with her private apology to Meghan McCain. And that's as far as they'll go in acknowledging it for now. This morning, still no apology or action for those cruel words uttered by senior staffer Kelly Sadler about Senator John McCain. The special assistant to the president saying that John McCain's opposition to their CIA director nominee Gina Haspel, quote, doesn't matter, he's dying anyway. Those comments outraging both sides of the aisle. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders avoided acknowledging the comments, focusing instead on the leak. And I'm not going to validate uh, a leak one way or the other out of an internal staff meeting. Senator McCain is battling brain cancer. And on The View, his daughter Megan puzzled by the lack of empathy. I don't understand what kind of environment you're working in when that would be acceptable and then you can yes. come to work the next day and still have a job. Yeah. yeah. And that's all I have to say about it. President Trump has long been critical of John McCain. On the campaign trail, he suggested he doesn't deserve a badge of honor after spending five and a half years as a prisoner of war in Vietnam. He's a war hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured. But the McCain family, defiant. My father's legacy is going to be talked about for hundreds and hundreds of years. These people, nothing burgers. Nothing. Nobody's yeah. gonna remember sure. you. This morning, ABC News has learned that Sadler called Megan to apologize. Still, Republicans and Democrats all demanding a more public apology from the White House. Vice President Joe Biden issuing this scathing statement. People have wondered when decency would hit rock bottom with this administration. It happened yesterday. And Speaker Paul Ryan, defending McCain's record. Look, John McCain's a hero, no two ways about it. This comes after yet another attack on Senator McCain, this time by a retired uh, lieutenant uh, general. Uh, well, the fact is, is John McCain, it worked on John. That's why they call him Songbird John. But that claim, false. The Fox Business host later apologizing for not correcting it. If I heard what he said the right way, I would have pushed back. I didn't, I blew it. Sources inside the White House tell me that at a meeting on Friday, Sarah Sanders scolded her staff. She called the comment unacceptable, but was said to be more upset about the leak. Now that staffer, Kelly Sadler, did not apologize to her colleagues at the meeting. And I'm told that inside the West Wing, there's a new sense of paranoia because there's a feeling that the leak was personally motivated. Dan, Paula. All right, Tara Palmieri from the White House. Hey, Matt, good morning to you. I, I want to go back to that comment from the White House staffer, uh, Kelly Sadler, about Senator John McCain. How do you read the way that the White House spokesperson, Sarah Sanders, is handling all of this as a, a part of the president's apparent strategy of never apologizing or even confirming, for that matter? Well, as, as we have all discussed before, there's this super virus of cruelty and lack of respect and not treating people with dignity that we've seen across America. And patient zero of that is the president. And the problem with them acknowledging that it happened and then apologizing, then they're ultimately going to have to do with a president who has said similar things as the piece laid out before we came in to a lot of different people in a lot of different instances of this. So if they start apologizing for what a staffer said that was cruel and had a total lack of respect for John McCain, then the ultimate question becomes is, what is the president going to do with the things mm -hmm. he said? Yeah, still not a good look for this administration regarding those particular comments. Matt, thanks for joining us from Texas this morning. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.